everyone, Nancy Mace here. Guess what? I heard the former speaker, disgraced former speaker, was talking a lot of smack this week and said that I need help. Well, guess what? I do need help. I need your help to raise a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, a hundred dollars for my campaign to hit back against the establishment, to hit back against corrupt DC, to hit back against people like McCarthy. He put our majority at risk. He lied to the American people. He couldn't even hold his speakership because he's a loser. So yeah, Kevin, I need help. I need help to raise money so I can hit back at you and your hand-picked opponent who's now your puppet running in South Carolina against me. Just in case anyone thought that the fight was over between Kevin McCarthy and Republicans in Congress after they kicked his ass out of the speakership and eventually the House of Representatives entirely, Nancy Mace is ready to remind everyone that it's not. And since that reminder was mostly about helping her raise money, it might be a sign that she realizes that Kevin's shadow revenge tour has some steam behind it, especially since he's openly taken on all eight of his GOP defectors. From the basis of watching someone on the job that they do, I, I don't think she'll probably have earned the right to get reelected. I don't believe the conference will ever heal if there's no consequences for the action. I, I hope Nancy gets the help she needs. I really do. Are you going to give her any help? No, I am not, not help financially. I just hope she gets the help to straighten out her life. I mean, she, she's got a lot of challenges. No one will stay working for her. Has there ever been any conversations uh, between you and the former president about Matt Gaetz and his decision to throw you out? Uh, is he supportive of that? I don't know how close you probably think the president is to Gates, but you should figure that out. They're not actually no. that close? Mm. He makes, Gates makes it out to be like they're... I'm sure. Gates probably makes a lot out of you. He probably lies about... Who he sleeps with too. Part of the former speaker's vengeance is utilizing his connections as the Republican leader in Congress. He said it a month after it was booted that he doesn't think the body will ever heal without consequences for the action. And from his count, those eight that voted him out are far fewer than the rest of the entire GOP conference. And the money's drying up for more than just Nancy Mace. You seen any of your fundraising dry up because of that vote? Yeah, absolutely. That's true. Support me. Some very wealthy folks, and they've been very kind to me in the past, and and um, I hope that uh, we can mend the fences. There's some thought that some of McCarthy's allies, donors, and the like, are going after oh, the eight. Of, of course, that happening to yeah, you? The, yeah, that's definitely a reality, and uh, I think anybody that participated in that knew that going forward. Tim Burchett, who McCarthy allegedly shoved aside in the Hall of Congress last year, seems to be surprised by how his funding is being undercut over his vote to kick McCarthy out. There had to be a plan for this kind of response because McCarthy must know that the best way to destroy the lives of power-hungry politicians is to force them out of their cushy job. I mean, it worked on him. But there still seems to be some kind of special place in his heart for Representative Mace. Remember, after being booted, he and his allies talked about how unhappy and mistreated her staff allegedly is, even hinting that her chief of staff couldn't stand her and dispelled her reasons for the ouster. Well, that staff for he teased, Dan Hanlon, is that same new opponent that Mace mentioned in her car chronicles at the beginning. So Kevin's revenge tour began immediately after he lost the gavel. So yeah, Kevin, I need help. I need help to raise money so I can hit back at you and your hand-picked opponent who's now your puppet running in South Carolina against me. Nancy Mace is a whole nother story, okay? <laughs> Let's just be honest here. I called Nancy Mace's chief of staff yesterday. And, um, cause I called the chief of staff. Well, she was on The View saying I didn't keep my word, so I didn't know what to, listen. Um, I can't say this in the press, but okay. Um, but so, I, 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 no, you keep it among yourselves, right? I just said to him, I said, can you please tell me, I don't understand, where have I not kept my word? You know what her chief of staff said? You have kept your word, 100%. I, look, I bite my lip, I let people say things that are not true, but it's not right. It is not right. Her chief of staff told all of us we have kept every single one of our words. And he said he's told her that too. Now, somehow he gets fired, I'll still get him a job.